morning everyone to yesterday we had done addition today we are doing subtraction but in addition we raise our fingers you know the meaning of raise when your mom asks some questions then you raise your hand and tell the answer like this addition we raise fingers but in subtraction we close things but we like this we have um, three minus two so first we open three three fingers then we close close and give answer one but one thing is that three minus two go two two three three one one finger raise answer is three like this you can also do but we one hand only have five five fingers and tell i tell you to yesterday also you can you can subtract like this 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 so let's let's start now first question 7 minus 5 now you want to see when smaller number is top and bigger number is down it means it is borrowing question but when bigger number is top and smaller number is down it means no borrow first question 7 minus 5 now 7 is bigger yes and it is correct question so 7 minus 5 now we raise seven fingers but one finger we have only five and we want to raise seven so we will raise seven here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now we will close five 1 2 3 4 5 now they are closed now how many fingers are left 1 1 2 so answer is 2 This is the way how you solve. Now, second question is six minus three. It is borrowing or no borrowing? It is no borrowing because six is taller number and three is shorter number. Now, six minus three. Now we want to raise six fingers, but one hand we have only five fingers. So we will raise here three and three makes six. Six and we. close three fingers and how many fingers we have left three so answer is three this is the way how you will solve now next question is 4 minus 4 now if you add same number to same number if we get answer zero like 2 minus 2 so it is same number so it is answer is 0 and like this also 4 minus 4 is give our answer 0 next question 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 is its correct question because 8 is in the top and 5 is the small so 8 is bigger than 5 so now count after 5 till 8 Na six seven eight. How many fingers raise? Three. So answer is thirty. This is the way how do you solve? Next question. Seventy minus eight. Now look at first question. Zero minus eight. Zero is bigger or eight is bigger? Eight is bigger. So but zero is in front. What we will do? We borrow seven and take one. And seven become eight, not eight, six six. Sorry. Now we will solve ten. It becomes ten. Now nine ten. How many fingers raise? Two. So answer is two. And six minus four. Six minus four. Now girls. Now six minus three is give our answer three. So three is bigger, four is bigger, four is bigger. So that answer is two. 
that answer is 2 2 22 next question now it is three digit number three digit number can also come in minus and addition also 1 minus 7 now 7 is bigger 1 is bigger 7 is bigger but 1 is front so we will borrow 4 and take 1 and 4 become 3 now 11 it become 11 now 8 9 10 11 how many fingers open 4 now answer is 4 Next question, 3 minus 3. I told you when we subtract same number to same number, it give us answer 0. Next question, 8 minus 4. Now, we, we have only 5, five fingers. So, next we want to put our pencil and count it. But we can count in this. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. 8, 3, 4. So answer is 404. First question answer 32. Second question answer 30. Third question answer 22. Fourth question answer 404. This is the way how you solve subtraction. Now, girls, first you want to check the cows in exams. We do very quickly because ma'am give our very very less time. So we will do fast 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 and we have done wrong. So you want to check first all, all answers is correct or not. Because ma'am do fast fast sometimes. So their answer is also be wrong. So you want to check at last. This is correct answer or wrong answer. Then you want to solve again. This is the way how will you solve. Thank you class.